What's going on YouTube? Halo here bringing you an all new Total War Warhammer 2 1v1 matchup. So today we're playing some Norsk vs Skaven in a quick battle against Romulan Dog. So uh, yeah, ended up matchmaking against them and we had a really great game. So let's jump into the compositions here. For myself playing Norska, we are going to have a front line of three Marauders, supported by three Marauder Berserkers, <clears throat> or four Marauders, excuse me. Back line, we are going to have four units of Skin Wolves, two of which are armored on the flanks. We will have Wolfric the Wanderer on a chariot, and then we will also have a Shaman Sorcerer Lore of Metal on a chariot to support, bringing Searing Doom and Plague of Rust. And then all the way out on the flanks, we will have a Marauder Ice Wolf chariot, as well as a standard Marauder chariot. So, over here, for Romulan Dog, we're going to have a front line of some Skaven Slave Spears and uh, Clan Rat Spears. And then we are also going to have the Wheels of Doom, ROR Doom Wheel. And he is going to be supporting the ROR Natty Boo Boo Sharpshooters, the Warplock Gisales. These guys are awesome. They look gorgeous. Look so zinchy. And then all the way over here on the left flank, we're going to have Ikit Claw on his Doom Wheel. And uh, in the back, we are going to have a couple units of supporting Rad Ogres, as well as the Ickets Zap Zap Warp Lightning Cannon ROR. And then we will also have the Teeth Breakers Rattling Guns Regiment of Renown. So uh, definitely some heavy punching power here for Romulan Dog. So let's get the ball rolling. So right off the bat, I am pushing forward as aggressively as possible. We're going to be pushing our chariots all the way around the left and right flank, trying to bring them through. And uh, our goal is going to be going after the Netty Boo Boos as well as the Teeth Breakers. But he is going to be directing his fire very heavily on my uh, armored skin wolves. And the Warp Lightning Cannon is hot and heavy, sweating after Wolfric the Wanderer. So right off the bat, he is pulling his um, Doom Wheels up. And we are going to start bum rushing them with the skin wolves, looking to jump on them early to try and get some damage done. We're going to pull off as he moves to intercept with his Skaven Slaves. And he gets a pretty nice Scorch down here. Glazes across my Marauders, but uh, no crazy damage. So we're going to be engaging the front line. Pull the Skin Wolves back, looking for a better opportunity. Doom Wheels coming about, trying to find some good places to get some pockets in. And then a Brass Orb going down on the front line. But we managed to slip our Marauder Ice Wolf Chariot right through the left flank into the Natty Boo Boos. Getting a nice charge on those Warp Latches Ales. Pulling all these Rat Ogres in. Meanwhile, Infantry pushes right through the front line as uh, we crumple through the Skaven Slaves. Wolfric is getting absolutely beat on though. But the Berserkers are here to support. Warlocks doing some solid damage. But man, that Lightning Cannon just absolutely dumpstering Wolfric. We do manage to tie up this Wheels of Doom, though, with our Skin Wolves. So that's going to be a really good engagement for us, and he is hitting it a little bit with his Warp Lightning Cannon. So over here on the other side, we get our uh, Skin Wolves into the um, back of Ikit Claw here. Overcast Plague of Rust, bringing this guy down to 50 armor, making him a very juicy target for our Armored Skin Wolves, who are doing a really good job. Berserkers and Marauders do an excellent job in the front line of tying up and wrapping all of this infantry. Wolfric goes down right there to the Warp Lightning Cannon. The Zap Zap takes him down. We're down to our Shaman Sorcerer, Lore of Metal, who is trying his best to stay mobile and support our uh, engagements here for our Skin Wolves, making sure to get that Overcast Plague of Rust on the Wheels of Doom and Ikit Claw doing a really good job here. Skin Wolves doing some excellent work. Bounce power slightly, slightly in our favor, but we have some Clan Rats left here for our opponent. The uh, Zap Zap Cannon is about to absolutely neuter the Shaman Sorcerer, Lore of Metal, but yeah. Not looking too bad for us at the moment, but uh, a lot of his units are off on the edges of the map, rallying because we don't really have any mobility left to be able to chase him off. Chariots are occupied trying to force off um, his ranged units, as well as tie up the Zap Cannon, but a very nice overcast Warp Lightning there on my blob of Armored Skin Wolves, doing a lot of damage. But uh, fortunately for us, they do have Regenerate and Physical Resistance, so they're not going to take too much damage in the uh, infantry fight, and we're going to continue to pursue after Ikit Claw and the Wheels of Doom. Meanwhile, back here, our Chariots are a bit bogged down in combat. We do have Rad Ogres just uh, clubbing on these boys. Our Ice Wolves definitely trying to uh, pull them out of there. But Ikit Claw is just coming in right after him, trying to get those guys off the battlefield. He knows that they're a threat. They're tearing up his infantry. So uh, we are going to try to pull them out of there as the infantry continues to uh, zerg through the Marauders and the Berserkers, cutting down Skaven left and right. Brass orbs and warp lightnings all over the place in the battlefield. An absolute disaster. Skin wolves fighting rat ogres, berserkers fighting clan rats and Skaven slaves as the Zap Zap continues to just barrage pockets of my infantry and my chariots fortunately here our ice wolves are getting into Ikit claw and uh, we have some rat ogres here trying to support him but we're going to be pulling the skin wolves in for our backup as well 
Marauders and Berserkers trying to get in here to uh, support the engagement. A rear charge, though, coming in from some of the Skaven infantry and clan rats, and they're going to be doing a really good job of freeing Ikit at the last second, letting him escape with 372 health, but we are sending our Ice Wolf chariots right after him. We are having none of it. These guys are fast. They have the armor piercing. And they are going to be trying to chase him off the battlefield. On the backside over there, we have two Marauder Chariots rallying. We are going to be going in straight after the Natty Boo Boos, who have set up a very nice rallied Overwatch position and are firing into our Skin Wolves, which uh, we cannot have. But uh, Romulan Dog is going to concede here. He manages to uh, do a lot of damage to a lot of my key units, but fortunately for us, we just managed to Zerg over so much of his infantry so fast that his uh, guns didn't really have quite enough time to do all the damage that they needed to against our skin wolves so a really good game i've been having a lot of success with this build so far um, i found the skin wolves do a very good job against the doom wheels which most people tend to think is good against norska i would agree but you bring the rust caster try and get those overcasts on plague of rust on them reduce their armor pretty substantially and then the skin wolves can do a pretty solid job with their very high anti-large and weapon strength damage Physical resist always helps against like the chaff infantry. They do have fear. The terror helps. And uh, yeah, they're very fast. So they can also help tie down Doom Flayers. Same concept. 18 models. Lots of mass. Overcast Plague of Rust. And just let them do their thing. Chariots, I have found, are very, very successful against the uh, Warblock Gisales as well as the Rattling Guns. Um, Gisales don't do an excellent job dealing with chariots because of their low model count and their speed. So definitely a good answer if you're having some trouble trying to shut down Gisales. But yeah, excellent game. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was a little bit brief, but really wanted to show off this build. Um, a lot of people have been talking about how Skaven seem to be very overpowered. Gisales are too hard to kill. Maybe you're just taking the wrong factions. Beastmen, Norska, they do a really good job. Um, lots of low armored width to their armies, so Gisales aren't quite as effective. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all next time.